I don't know if you guys can see them, but there's all these little fuzzies. They're floating around. It's a little big old tree. See, look here. Oh my god. Two <laughs> little, um. Hi, Debbie. Oh, <laughs> for a while, I guess. But there is a big old tree. Um. Oh my god, there's so many. I have no idea if you can see these. There's so many. But there's a tree. It has little cotton seeds that float around everywhere. And oh, and they go around their whole entire yard. That's kind of a big yard. There's where it ends that line. Oh look, it's a big thing of cotton. See the little guys? It's supposed to float around separately. All together. But it's like snow without the coldness. But there's like, oh, it's a big clump. Oh, they're going onto the road. Yeah, it's just this one simple tree. you guys a little tour around my house now. Look, it's a little mushroom. There's only one of them. Oh no. Maybe a big bug died. Because they are... They don't want like a lot of dead stuff. Oh no! It looks like a bird nest fell down. Take some to the fort. It's going to be the first place that I will give you a tour of. See, we have these pine trees. This is going to kind of hurt my feet. So that's why I got those things. Well, the one kind of took over last night, I guess. But this was my little fort that I made outside. Oh, it got attacked. Oh, I think I hear a little bee. Hey, little bee. Don't worry. The bees at my house are just book bees. They don't have stingers. I had a bamboo stick in this 
like these, these are bamboo sticks, but I don't know what happened. It helped it, um, stay straight. Oh, this one got attached. There we go. Making it for a while now. Oh, look, there's a little guy that got in here. Oh no, I forgot. Um. feeding some stray kittens every day. And this little thing, I forgot to give them food. They're not our cats, but what's the point of being? Now it matches the rest. I think they were here though. Because this was all messed up and they messed it up a lot. Maybe it's from when my cousins are here. But yeah, this is my little outside hangout area. It's a little hard to fix this with just one hand, but that's okay. So, and but you have to get off now. There you go. He's right there. He's alive and all. Oh, there he go. Oh, there he is. So he's a little shaky. I'm gonna clean this out. I bought it a couple days ago. And I'm gonna put my, bam my lucky bamboo in there. It's just a tiny bamboo though. Yeah. This is my big slipper. I use it for exploring. Like, for knocking off spider webs and stuff. Or using it for, like, being able to be stable. Sometimes stuff is wobbly. These are for my wardrobe, which I had to um, fix. Because it was a little, um,. Like, how do I explain? Uh, it was old and broken, basically. So that was my fault. Yeah, up over here. There's some strawberries I'm trying to plant. I put little shells in there. Because... Some plants, if you put some stuff in there, they'll take the protein from it and use it to flourish. It's like recycling, but with plants and proteins. The plant, plants recycle the proteins. Kind of like mushrooms. And you use the, they recycle the proteins to use as their own, so then they can flourish. Now this big shed is what we call the shop. If you want to see some exploring in the shop, you have to tell me. But it's a little dark in here. There are some lights though. This is a metal thing. There's not much to explain there because it's tiny and just filled with stuff. And that's my old house. So we just moved uh, a little bit ago. Now we live in this, um, sorry, I just stepped in a weird feeling leaf and I thought I stepped in doggo pee, but it wasn't, thankfully. But, uh, we moved to this house, and it's a little smaller, but the other house is falling down and stuff. We have to take down a few trees because of like piping and they were already
pretty about to fall down anyways. So, probably just ending their suffering, honestly. Poor things. Probably like 80 years old. Oh, now we have like a lifetime time supply of bonfire food. This is my dog mittens. I used a mountain cur. Now if it looks like I'm kicking at him, I promise you I'm not. I'm just trying to untangle my feet from his leash because he likes to get it around my feet. Not intentionally, but mountain uh, curs are really hyper dogs, so. Oh, God. Baby. Hey, no nipping. No nipping. No. No nipping. Help. He's very harsh whenever he plays. I don't want to get copyrighted. I'll probably start just doing I'll probably just start by doing vlogging videos instead of the art videos I used to do. So, I hope you don't mind. I don't know where you put the towel. It's okay. This is Kit Kat. tuxedo cat that we got from a friend. So, well, yes, he <laughs> does have the same name as a chocolate bar. And it is felt the same. This is my room. It's kind of messy, but I'll probably clean it today. Um, what up? Oh, yeah. I was gonna. So, this is blueberry. This is the lucky plant. Or, lucky bamboo. It's a plant I got from Menards. And it didn't look like he was doing so well. So, I took him in. <laughs> Just like a stray cat that you would take in. Or, um. Or, like a adopting a kid. I consider him a kid. I mean, I did give him a name after all. Hold on. Oh, he has another thing? <laughs> I've never changed things. But I noticed that his roots were getting on the top and out of hand so this is gonna be his first time changing containers or I guess more homes let's call it homes hmm. I find this terrible with these little things, there was two of them, and see, so they had to grow out to about here, and then this one was to about here, and they put wax on top, that way it couldn't grow any taller, and I thought that was terrible, so, and also it was dying because of that creek here, so I cut them at a slant, uh, 
at the notch if you're with these guys because I didn't want to kill these guys and it hasn't been that long since I did it so maybe later on uh, we'll start going to their little things I'd say they're kind of like another little heads <laughs> know where my mom necessarily put the dirt because she's gardening right now. I mean I know that she won't use like prepackaged dirt for that but that's her little garden. I started with this year so it's not all sprouted up and stuff. But she has dirt for these flowers. Not these. I mean, yes, these, but I was talking about these, the ones with the window sills. I, I got a little birdhouse right there. See, it's that pink right there. Oh, look. More cockiness floating in the air. It'll go on for about two weeks, maybe. Kind of depends. My mom's room isn't done yet or anything. So, right now, oh god, I'm having a ladder with one hand. Right now, she lives up here. You see? And that's the bathroom. all this colorful tile. Well, this right here might be tile. Like, you know, like regular bathroom tile. But the floor is like, like actual stone. Like, there's no finishing on it or anything. But, they're just all naturally colorful. I, you can't really tell, but I mop today, and you really can't tell after it's dried. <laughs> That's because I need something more intense to get all the stuff off. Also, I couldn't find a broom, so. Stuff is just kind of going everywhere. <laughs> and I also have another cat. His name is Little Hua. He lives with my grandma in the other house. But he is recovering from an extreme allergic reaction he had because we changed cat foods due to our normal cat food being out and we couldn't buy it anymore because it was sold out at Walmart because of Corona so everyone was buying a whole bunch of cat food and they bought the one that we needed so we were forced into changing cat foods and then he had an extreme allergic reaction to the cat food and so he's we're letting him heal up in that house right now and he's not living there alone he's with my grandma yeah, my grandma takes good care of him. I mean, there's also the fact that he's a blind cat, so he probably will have a lot of trauma from this, which I feel really bad for him, but there's nothing I can really do about that. I mean, it's not like there's therapy for cats and be like, oh, how do you feel today? He can't really talk, can he? Well, if he could talk, I would definitely let him see therapists and stuff, but sadly he can't. So the Buddha is about, he's a little older than Mittens, but not quite that much. Mittens is 
about um <laughs> oh no baby I think you messed up your thing <laughs> he doesn't want me to fix it <laughs> but um like I was saying uh Mittens is like six months old and then Blue Buddha is like eight months old. M maybe older than that, but he's not a complete year yet. And um, Kit Kat is four years old. He has beautiful eyes. And he has a heart birthmark on his cheek. He's a very handsome and beautiful cat. And if you see anything walk on his face, yes, they have fleas. But that's because we aren't able to get a, well, we can't find more of a, um, a good flea thing for um, mittens because mittens keeps bringing in the fleas because he goes outside and then inside and now all of my animals have fleas <laughs> so if you have any questions or anything by the way I might do a Q&A thing. Oh yeah, um, I also have Instagram and Facebook, and if you want to know them, I might tell you. Also, uh, I have some stuff on the fridge. Now, our fridge itself might be a little empty. <laughs> Because, you know, uh, what was I saying? Oh, it, it might be a little empty because we don't, um, we haven't bought much stuff. Like, we normally go over to Graham's house, which is the other house that we used to, that me and my mom used to live in. It's that house. Um, I call it Graham's house. And so we don't really need to bring much food here. I mean, we have a lot of bacon and stuff. I mean, I have some waffles, some noodles, and fr some frozen strawberries. But, I mean, I guess we have a whole bunch of meat and stuff. That's because my mom works at a meat factory and they send her meat because I guess people aren't buying as much meat now. So, yeah. As so props to my mom, she's an essential worker and even during all the corona happening, she's still working. Oh. I'm trying my best. Are you okay, baby? Oh. He's really feisty and playful. You can always tell whenever a cat will attack you when you pet them. I forgot to look, but their ears, either their ears are back or their tail wags. See? His tail wagged. Don't worry, he didn't claw me. He just smacked me. <laughs> He knows better than to call me. He knows that it's me and not right. Later on, I'll ask my mom where all the soil is. That way I could use it for blue food. Huh. Your roots are so pretty. You could definitely tell that he needed more room though. That way he can flourish. Oh yeah. You may be wondering why there's so much stuff on the table well this was because of 
but some stuff is because Doggo wants to eat it and stuff. Like my shoes and the cat food, which the dogs are not supposed to eat cat food. It's really bad for them. And so we have to put it up here. Um, that that's why dog food and cat food are made separately. Oh yeah, and right here. <laughs> Um, after Corona, if I don't use all this for special crafts, um, I, I'm gonna give this to someone, and so I have it on the table because I was doing some special crafts, but it's like a starter kit for artists. It has, um, I mean, some stuff doesn't like work like dried out and stuff but it's just it it's like Russian roulette with this stuff. Like we got a few paints, a few markers oh, actually no a lot of markers. Um one singular highlighter. It's basically the stuff that I don't want. But I'm gonna give to someone. Um this isn't a giveaway I I don't feel comfortable delivering stuff to people because that would kind of give away my address. If you think about it. Oh my god, there's so many. Oh, you can't see it. Hold on. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. But there's a whole bunch of the seeds. The, 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 the little cotton seeds. But like I was saying, uh... So this isn't going to be a giveaway, I mean, or at least a, you know, YouTube giveaway, but it will be a giveaway to, um, someone I know. Yeah, and my closet, again, is really messy, but it's honestly because I'm trying to keep everything doesn't need to be in the kitchen, um, the kitchen, and since I have a smaller room than I used to. I don't really have room for it. So I've kind of been piling stuff on my on my chair and my art station. Which I now have an art station. Which I oh it's not focusing. Okay. Which I didn't have before. Oh yeah, and I have sad news. Okay, so well, one of them is kind of funny. So I have a, um, a, uh, a ceiling fan. I, I guess you could say I have a ceiling fan in my closet. <laughs> See, it's a little ceiling fan. It does work if you spin it. But the sad news is that oh no oh no oh no you can't see it oh well okay uh just you, you just gotta believe me there is a dead spider in there that was trapped in there for a whole month and now i finally died but after a week of trying to kill him by frying him with the light i kind of grew respect for him and i named him jimmy but a month later, he died, and I'm actually kind of sad about it, because I considered him like a closet pet. Right. And, yeah, this is my closet. I, <laughs> I ignore all the smarties. Um, but I got some Sailor Moon stuff, and some Japanese cookies, which I ate. They're very delicious, but, but it's kind of expensive for such a little amount of cookies. Some RWBY stuff? Yeah. Um, I haven't watched it, but I originally got this for my cousin, but I think he said that he didn't want it, and so I just kept it. Maybe one of the days that he'll actually want it, I'll finally give it to him. Oh, dang, it's almost 30 minutes long for the video. This is a chip clip. I forgot. And I need 
to put on the fridge. I don't know why I have one of them. Oh, okay. I think Doggo brought it with him in my room. And I had to put it to where he couldn't get to it anymore. And then on the other side, I have these, um, Holland Dutch, um, they're called clocks. They're traditional wooden shoes, but they were in... <laughs> oh god. <laughs> A pair of destruction. And this one has all my rocks. Like, this is an amethyst with the quartz inside, which is really cool. It's actually quite large if you compare it to my hand. Um, and then this is a candle and some incense sticks. And then this is my little dragon. This rainbow gem. And then here's some flags. Uh, this is a cheapy water flag. And then two actually Japanese flags. Or not flags, um, fans. Sorry. Yeah, I just keep them right here. That way they're hidden for <laughs> possible robbers. And then in here is- Oh, baby! I was gonna open that, you silly bum. <laughs> oh yeah, up there I have a silly little poster that I got from Walmart. Um. Oh yeah, these are some of my shoes. And just three pairs though. But dum dum. It's so fluffy. <laughs> That's how you get him away. You mess with his tum tum. No. Turn it! <laughs> In here is my jewelry, which I'm gonna lift this up anyways. I'm so scared it's gonna break though. Oh my god. <laughs> I have to be careful not to get his bum on screen because I don't want to get demonetized. But, uh, <laughs> um, this is all my jewelry. I have a, a lot of jewelry. Oh, and that's an empty bullet shell from my grandpa's funeral. And then some ear earbud things and little trinkets in there and actually a little skittle that I managed to have on Kit Kat for a while which he is now exploring my box for uh I have a tiny box for made for one person this is the wig that my friend got me and then all my clothes like jackets empty hangers dresses onesies and then my big dress the next year's Halloween costume. This is a bamboo mat for the beach and stuff. Uh, my Christmas llama that I get out for Christmas. Some sunscreen. A whole bunch of fingernail polish. Really it's a whole bunch to me because I only paint my nails purple and black. And then some white lily tissues. Okay. Okay, he's not in. But he is on top. Oh, box. From the floor, one of the mattresses. Of, or from one of the mattresses in my mom's room. By the way, I do not have that available but my mom is indeed but she does have a boyfriend oh oh hey baby he popped his head out yeah <laughs> i love kit kat like whenever you're sad and stuff he'll go up to you and let you pet them and he'll cuddle you whenever you're sleeping. He's like a soon daddy, but when 
Do we really need him? He is there. Soon down there with the super soft side. Now, my little fort. I need to get a flashlight that way you can see in my fort. Oh my god, this is such a long video. So, I got a flashlight. I'm gonna turn off my closet, but because we don't really need it, because we'll just use this flashlight. It's just a box to be in. Okay. dark stars they're painted on here with more of the dark stuff just gotta put my light on it and oh you can't see it on camera but just believe me hold on what if i focus it right here hey you saw it on camera for a moment hey you can kind of see it oh you can see some of them but yes um, sorry, I'm just scratching my leg. Um, but yeah. It's just a small little box. It has handle holes. Oh. And it's just made for one person. See? I'm just in here. I hear Kit Kat on the top. Kit Kat! I don't know if you can see him. Oh, you just see clothes. Keep it a little open that way he won't get out. Uh, yeah. It's kind of my tour. I don't know if it's gonna show you one. Oh! My paintings! Um I come of the future. Um so I sell or am going to sell paintings. Well art career collage. Okay, so first you got this one, which was, see, that one has a date, but next coming one does not have a date, but yeah, it did, but it's gone now. This one really sucks, and I actually really hate it, and I would burn it in a fire any day, but that's part of memories, so I guess I could keep it. And this one I really like. See? This one does have a date. Um, it's just a simple galaxy, but it actually turned out way better than I expected, and I don't think I could ever recreate it. Okay, next one, I forgot which one this is. Oh this simple. I don't like it. It exists. And yeah. Oh, it does have a date though. And then last one. It was the one that was on top. So <laughs> not a big surprise. This was the first palm tree I've done though. In detail work and stuff. Oh yeah, this one does have a date as well. Probably done five. Yeah, five. Oh wait, there's also another thing that I'm selling. I did not make any of these, but I do want to sell them. They are 
comic books. Wow, I inspired a troll like that. Uh, got some She-Hulk and Robot Tech Masters have potties. Hawk something? Hawk world? <laughs> That's pretty weird. And Shadow Shadow Man. <laughs> it's kind of cringy. They're still in the wrapper thing and stuff too. There's also more. Like, uh, more and more, um, and then, Shadow, Shadow Man number two, Shadow Lady, <laughs> that looks different, oh, The Awakening, The Scorpion King sealed with Night Thrasher Justice Society America and Blue Devil and last but not least the Honeymooners. <laughs> so that's all the stuff that I plan on selling. Uh, but yeah, this is my room. My messy room. The blankets were on there because I put a new sheet on my bed, which is already disgusting. <laughs> Ow. And, uh, yeah. I got Foster. I have another poster over here. See? Oh, I do. I'm gonna put this over here. And if you saw numbers on my hand, it's just numbers so that way I can get inside my house because I have a fancy lock. And then some pictures of my sister and then me years ago. And then my mom, uh, my mom's best friend, also my cousin's mom, and uh, uh, my sister. And then I got a deer. And then Mr. Banana is what I named the scorpion a long time ago. And these are from, these are coins from different places and stuff. Hold on. From an amazing friend. Um. Five pitas. Ah. And. Yeah. I like special coins. Oh no, I don't know where the buffalo nickel is. Oh no. Okay. Get out a big one. Oh, this looks kind of American. Oh, it won't focus. 1975. I want it focus. Go away and then zoom. Uh, but it says, hold on. Oh. 
uh, Estados Unidos Mexicanos. Oh, hey, it focused. So, pizza. Huh. It's a big cover coin from nineteen sixty nine. Mm. Oh, another Mexican one. Two cents? Wait. <gasps> this is a buffalo nickel! Or... Whatever. 1976. South Africa. Oh, these ones are here. I don't say. Oh, 20 cents. Um. Yeah. But this buffalo nickel needs to go back in here. I don't know. Hard to do with one hand. Sorry, my hair was in the way. But yeah, basically that's the coins. If you guys want to know all of them in a different video, tell me. Uh, and I don't, I mean, if you enjoyed this, then uh, I guess you could subscribe if you want to. I mean, I'm not like other subscribe or not. Not like other YouTubers. I'm not gonna tell you to. Like, you don't have to. Okay, I am sorry if the cut seemed a bit unnatural. My phone, which I'm using my phone to record this, uh, it ended up dying. So I'll just redo the ending. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, hit that subscribe button. Don't um, don't forget to hit the bell that way you can you know know whenever I actually do post or upload I guess um and if you like this video then uh make sure to like the video because you know it shows that you liked it and if you have any suggestions for videos or have some questions or maybe you want to see something and have a tour uh, like if you want to see more of the coins or, um, see my grandma's house, then make sure to tell me in the comments, that way I know. Uh, and hope I, I hope you guys liked it. I'm a bit out of my comfort zone, which you might have noticed, which I'm so sorry about, but... You gotta start from somewhere, so if I don't start doing it now, then how will I ever get over my nervousness?